The B branch, also called the Commonwealth Avenue branch or Boston College branch, is a branch of the MBTA Green Line light rail system which operates on Commonwealth Avenue west of downtown Boston, Massachusetts. One of four branches of the Green Line, the B branch runs from Boston College Station down the median of Commonwealth Avenue to Blandford Street. There, it enters Blandford Street portal into Kenmore Station, where it merges with the C and D branches. The combined services run into the Boylston Street Subway and Tremont Street Subway to downtown Boston. As of 2016, B branch service terminates at Park Street. Unlike the other branches, the B branch runs solely through the city limits of Boston. The Green Line rivalry between Boston College and Boston University is named in reference to the B branch, which runs to both universities. Topic: History. Initial construction The first sections of what is now the B branch to open were built for what became the Watertown Line and Beacon Street Line. In 1889, the West End Street Railway opened the Beacon Street Line, including a branch that ran from Coolidge Corner to Oak Square along Harvard Avenue, Brighton Avenue, Cambridge Street, and Washington Street. While this route provided service to the fast-growing suburbs of Alston and Brighton, a more direct route was desirable. When Commonwealth Avenue was improved between Governors Square and the junction with Brighton Avenue in the mid-1890s, a 33-foot wide median was included for use by a streetcar line to support real estate development. Service began from Governors Square to Cottage Farm in 1894, to Brighton Avenue in 1895, and along Brighton Avenue to connect with the older trackage on May 18, 1896. That line was extended to near Nonantum Square on June 13, 1896. Further west, between Chestnut Hill Avenue and the Boston Newton boundary at Lake Street, a 25 foot .6 meters wide streetcar median was built. Service between Lake Street and downtown Boston began on August 15, 1896. Streetcars ran on Chestnut Hill Avenue, the existing Beacon Street Line, Washington Street, and Huntington Avenue. At Lake Street, the line connected with the Commonwealth Avenue Street Railway, which opened the popular Norumbaga Park on June 17, 1897, east of Governors Square. The Beacon Street line originally ran on Beacon Street, Massachusetts Avenue, and Boylston Street to Park Square. By the time the Commonwealth Avenue segments opened, streetcars continued along heavily congested tracks on Tremont Street, electrified in 1891, to reach the Northern Railroad terminals. Both the Nonantum Square and Lake Street lines were rerouted into the Tremont Street subway to terminate at Park Street Station soon after the tunnel's September 1, 1897 opening. The Boston Elevated Railway Berry leased the West End Street Railway on October 1, 1897, and continued its system expansion. The Berry opened new tracks on Commonwealth Avenue from Chestnut Hill Avenue to Brighton Avenue on May 26, 1900, allowing direct service from Lake Street to downtown via Commonwealth Avenue. Even though much of the land surrounding Commonwealth Avenue in Brighton was not yet developed, the new line was heavily patronized. For most of its length, the 1900-built trackage was not in a center median, but in a reservation between the southbound travel lane and southbound carriage lane. Between Warren Street and Wallingford Road, the reservation was significantly wider than the tracks. Topic growing service through service between Norumbiga Park and Park Street Station via Lake Street begun on January 17, 1903. West of Lake Street, streetcars were operated by the Commonwealth Avenue Street Railway, which merged into the Newton and Boston Street Railway in 1904 and the Middlesex and Boston Street Railway in 1909. The Newton Street Railway also merged into the NNB in 1904 began through service between Park Street and Waltham via the Watertown Line on February 23, 1903. When the Cambridge Tunnel opened in April 1912, the Waltham service was rerouted to Central Square Station in Cambridge instead. On May 1, 1912, the M&B began a second through service over the Commonwealth Avenue route this one running to Newton Highlands, the Boylston Street subway opened on October 3, 1914, acting as an extension of the Tremont Street subway to just east of Governors Square, with intermediate stops at Copley Square and Massachusetts Avenue. A third station, Arlington, was not built until 1921. The Newton Highlands through service was cut back to Lake Street, where it connected with Berry Streetcar service. Norumbiga Park through service was similar cut back on November 1, 1914, as the older M&B streetcars could not match the speed of the newer Berry streetcars in the subway. The Commonwealth Avenue line served two major baseball stadiums, Fenway Park opened 1912 near Governors Square, and Braves Field opened 1915 in Alston. The Berry opened a prepayment surface station where riders paid their fares at the stop, rather than on board the streetcar at Kenmore Street in Governors Square in 1915. 
The new Braves field opened on August 18, 1915. It included a loop track between Gaffney Street and Babcock Street with a prepayment station to allow streetcars to directly serve the ballpark. The loop was also used to turn trains for Red Sox games at Fenway Park, and for rush hour short turns. After November 1945, these short turns also operated during midday and on Saturdays. The loop was heavily used during games. For the 1948 World Series, streetcars ran between Park Street and Braves Field on 45 second headways. Topic further changes Around 1916, the Berry built a storage yard for streetcars north of Commonwealth Avenue at Lake Street. Remaining M&B service to Lake Street was replaced by buses in 1930. The Berry replaced the old transfer station in the median with a new platform and waiting room in the yard on September 12, 1930. An expansion of Reservoir Yard south of Beacon Street near Chestnut Hill Avenue, completed in May 1940, supplemented Lake Street Yard and eliminated the need to base some Commonwealth Avenue streetcars at Bennett Street Carhouse in Cambridge. In 1922, the Berry proposed to operate the inner part of the Commonwealth Avenue line as a rapid transit service. Three car trains of recently acquired center entrance cars, which had higher capacity and shorter dwell times than older streetcars, would run on headways as low as two minutes at rush hour and four minutes at other times. Terminal stations would be built at Leachmere Square in East Cambridge and at Linden Street near Harvard Avenue in Alston, where passengers would transfer between the subway trains and surface streetcar lines. The Leachmere Terminal was built, but local opposition to the forced transfer caused the Linden Street Terminal plan to be scrapped. The congestion at busy Governor's Square caused numerous delays to the streetcar lines. In May 1924, the state legislature directed the Metropolitan District Commission to plan an expanded rapid transit system in Boston, including an extension of the Boylston Street subway under Governor's Square. The report, released in December 1926, called for the existing streetcar tunnels in Boston to be reorganized into two rapid transit lines with high floor rolling stock. One line was to run from East Boston to Brighton, with the East Boston Tunnel, which had been converted from streetcars to rapid transit in 1924, realigned to connect with the Tremont Street subway near Park Street Station. The Boylston Street subway would have been extended to Commonwealth Avenue, with a new station under Governor's Square. A transfer station between the rapid transit line and the truncated Watertown and Lake Street surface lines was to be located at Warren Street between Commonwealth Avenue and Cambridge Street, near Brighton Centre. Intermediate surface stops were to be located at St. Mary Street, Gaffney Street, Packard's Corner, Harvard Avenue, and Alston Street. Several busy grade crossings also were to be eliminated, and the report noted that the then rapid growth along Commonwealth Avenue in Brighton might later justify extension of rapid transit to Lake Street. The subway under Governor's Square was projected to cost $5 million, equivalent to $71 million in 2018. The Berry and the city objected to this cost and proposed a $1.4 million plan where flyover ramps would separate Beacon Street auto and streetcar traffic from other traffic in the square. The tunnel was eventually chosen but construction did not begin until 1930, after the legislature lowered the cost that the Berry would pay to rent the subway from the city. Kenmore Station and the new subway, which split to separate portals at St. Mary's Street on Beacon Street and Blandford Street on Commonwealth Avenue, opened on October 23, 1932. The extension was built to support future rapid transit conversion of the Commonwealth Avenue line, including extension of the underground section further west. Interest in converting the Commonwealth Avenue line to rapid transit declined as focus shifted to expanding the subway to further suburbs. The 1945 and 1947 Coolidge Commission reports the next major planning effort after the 1926 report instead recommended a parallel rapid transit line along the Boston and Albany Railroad corridor, with local streetcar service retained on Commonwealth Avenue. However, several smaller improvements were made to the line. A siding was opened at Washington Street on October 27, 1926, allowing trains to be short-turned when necessary. On February 7, 1931, the Beacon Street and Commonwealth Avenue lines were extended to Leachmere, replacing shuttle services between Leachmere and various points in the subway. On June 30, 1931, the existing crossover west of Blandford Street was replaced by a pocket track, allowing temporary storage of streetcars there. Short-turn subway service using the pocket track began on September 24, 1934. Around 1940, the Lake Street line was assigned Route No. 62 as part of a system-wide renumbering. <laughs> Post-war years In the early 1940s, the Berry began replacing its older streetcars with the PCC streetcar. PCCs were first used on the Lake Street line in May 1944, and they fully replaced center entrance cars on the line in regular service on December 10, 1945. The short length of trackage on Chestnut Hill Avenue, which had not been used in revenue service since Lake Street service via Brookline Village was replaced by the Route 65 bus in the late 1920s, was modified as part of trackwork related to the introduction of the PCCs. 
A connecting track from Commonwealth Avenue westbound to Chestnut Hill Avenue southbound was opened on May 31, 1947, completing the Y between the two avenues. On May 21, 1947, in recognition of the expansion of Boston College, the Berry changed the Lake Street designation to Boston College. On August 29, 1947, the privately owned Berry was succeeded by the publicly owned Metropolitan Transit Authority (MTA). The little-used siding at Washington Street was removed in January 1953, leaving only a crossover. In April 1959, all Boston and Albany Railroad Worcester line stops between Back Bay and Newtonville were closed for the construction of the Turnpike Extension, leaving the Watertown and Boston College lines as the only rail transit serving Alston and Brighton. Boston University purchased Braves Field in 1953 when the Braves moved to Milwaukee, and soon wished to use the Loop area for other purposes. After several years of requests, the MTA abandoned the Loop on January 15, 1962. Around 1960, the wide streetcar reservation between Warren Street and Wallingford Road was narrowed to add additional travel lines to Commonwealth Avenue, leaving the streetcar tracks in a relocated median between the travel lanes. On November 25, 1961, the Boston College was cut back to Park Street Station, while the 1959 opened Riverside Line was extended to Lechmere in its stead. In 1963–65, the Commonwealth Avenue bridge over the Boston and Albany Railroad was rebuilt to accommodate the Turnpike Extension. Streetcar service was maintained using a temporary parallel bridge. <laughs> MBTA era In August 1964, the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority MBTA replaced the MTA. As part of system-wide rebranding efforts, the remaining streetcar routes feeding the Tremont Street subway became the Green Line on August 26, 1965. In 1967, the five branches were given letters to distinguish them. The Boston College Line became the B branch. The Watertown Line became the A branch, while the Beacon Street Line became the C branch, the MBTA experimented with changing the downtown terminals of the Green Line branches unlike its predecessors, which had changed the downtown terminal of the Boston College Line just twice. The B branch was extended to the new loop at Government Center opened on November 18, 1964 the first service to regularly use the loop. Over the next two decades, the downtown termini were frequently changed. The B branch variously terminated at Park Street, Government Center, Haymarket, North Station, and Leechmere. On July 30, 1983, the terminus was finally changed to Government Center Station, where it would stay until 2004. On June 21, 1969, the A branch was replaced with Watertown Kenmore buses, halving streetcar service on Commonwealth Avenue east of Packard's Corner. Around 1970, the median was moved slightly south between Chestnut Hill Avenue and Lake Street. The westbound roadway was lowered several feet below the median between South Street and Greycliffe Road, with the Foster Street stop moved 500 feet 150 meters west to the Greycliffe Road grade crossing. Around 1975, the stop at University Road was discontinued, while the stop at Alcorn Street was moved 500 feet east to Babcock Street. Topic. Stop consolidation The B Branch is frequently criticized by riders for its slow service, which is largely a result of a high number of stops and level crossings. The line has 27 level crossings and 18 stops on the surface section. In late 2003, the MBTA proposed eliminating five surface stops Greycliff Road, Chiswick Road, Mount Hood Road, Summit Avenue, and Fordham Road as part of a project to improve the line. The five stops were chosen because they had low ridership and were located very close to other stations. No stops east of Packard's Corner were chosen, although they would affect the largest number of riders. Despite their close spacing, they have higher ridership, and their proximity to traffic lights lowers the travel time savings from elimination. After a public comment period, Chiswick Road was removed from the proposal, as it serves a nearby elderly housing community. On April 20, 2004, the other four stops were closed as a six to eight month pilot program. On March 15, 2005, after a survey showed that 73% of 1,142 riders surveyed approved of the closures, the MBTA board voted to make the closures permanent. In October 2014, the MBTA began holding meetings for a proposal to consolidate four stops Boston University West, St. Paul Street, Pleasant Street, and Babcock Street, located near Boston University's West Campus. The four stops, which are not handicapped accessible, would be turned into two fully accessible stops as part of a planned redesign of Commonwealth Avenue between the BU Bridge and Packard's Corner. As of 2018, the MBTA portion of construction is expected to run from 2019 to 2021. <laughs> Topic. Station listing 
Trains on the B branch only travel from Park Street to Boston College. The segment from Park Street to Kenmore is shared with the three other branches. There is no MBTA parking at any B branch stations. <laughs>